nice to be at home. Guys, it's home opener, and I know a lot of festivities going on above it, but uh, just how, how important is it for you guys to bat, get a fast start in this game, kind of feed off the crowd early, maybe get them out of it? I think it's very important uh, to start fast. You know, that's uh, that's something you want to do in this league. You want to be the team that, that throw the first punch. So uh, that's what we want to do. We want to start fast and uh, get things going, even if that's our defense starting the game off or our offense starting the game off. Um, so we want to get things going. Brissette's not Andrew Luck, but how big is this opportunity on Sunday in the division? Uh, I think anyone that step out on that field is capable of winning games. And so it's going to be a, a great opportunity for us to go out there and uh, try to get a W. Um, I can only speak about the defense, though. I think uh, the defense is very explosive, very fast. Um, so again, we're going to have to be smart, make plays when they come to us, and uh, make sure we uh, do what we're supposed to do, and that's uh, get the third downs and put points on the board. What do you see out of a guy like Malik Hooker? I don't know if you saw his interception in the end zone the other day. Sweet. It was nice. Yeah, it was nice. Uh, great playmaker. Uh, Guy's smart. He's in the right places where he's supposed to be at. Again, like you said, he uh, got that one-hand interception. Shows that he can catch the ball. Um, so we just got to be smart, make sure we uh, make the right calls. And uh, everyone that has the opportunity to make the play, got to make the play. Some tough times, obviously, for you guys against the Colts over the years. Is there, is there any one moment or two, Bill, any that stands out as being a, one that you recall of being you know, particularly frustrating? It's a new year. I don't, I don't, do, I don't dwell on the past. We uh, look forward to the future. Um, we're going to try to change that for sure here. As a guy who's been around here for a while, what does it mean to be there on the day where they retire Eddie George's and Steve McNair's jerseys? It means a lot. Them guys paved the way for all of us that's in this locker room. Um, two greats that done it and done it well and done it at a high level. Um, so it means a lot. I'm, and I'm blessed to have the opportunity to see that their jerseys is getting uh, retired here in the stadium. What do you remember? Do you remember those guys watching this play? Tough, physical. Relentless, know how to win, uh, both of them, and uh, they—that's the standard they live by. It seems like you tried to uphold that standard by the way you play, the, kind of that dog mentality each and every week. I told you they paved the way. You know, I watched them play. I watched them do it at a high level, and uh, my game is pretty much built off of their game. You know, I try to go out there and I give it all I got every time I step out on the field. You mentioned you're not looking to the past, but is, is there a part of you, a part of you guys, saying, "Hey"? This is a team that kept us from going to the playoffs last year. I mean, that's always something on the back of your mind. You know, you, you think about it, but again, that's something we got to look. It happened. Now we're moving forward and uh, try to change that. How long do you guys give yourself to Laney after a, after a big win like that? How long do you give yourself to sort of enjoy it before you say, all right, the heck with that, it's time to look ahead? I think it's right after the game in the locker room. That's when the only time we got to enjoy it. You know, our coaches, they, they were like, we over it. That, that game is done. Let's move on to the next game. And uh, I think that kind of helps us as a mindset of don't um, get complacent. You know what I mean? It was one game. You know, we didn't do anything. So uh, let's move on to the next one. Do you allow yourself to look and say, hey, if we take care of business this week, that uh, you're establishing yourselves in the division? Uh, I mean, it depends on who's saying that. If we saying it, of course. If, the, if it's ESPN or Sports Center, they, they doubting us. So we want to be doubted. And uh, I think that's the best way for us, and that's how we're going to play hard. So You guys were able to do a little bit of everything offensively the other day. I mean, when you look at that and the potential of this offense, I mean, how, how much better can this offense get? Than I feel like we can get a lot better. I feel like we left some plays out there on the field. Um, again, and that's why we practice, and uh, we've been watching film and seeing some of the things that we can do differently, and hopefully we uh, execute the plays this week so we can uh, – do more on offense. Um, I think it's a, a lot of veterans in here that's telling the guys that wasn't anything. You know, that was only one week. And our coaches do the same thing. They'll check them before they even get to that point. Um, and uh, the guys in this room, we got a great bunch of good guys here, and I think they understand that that was just week one, and uh, it's time to move to week two, and let's see if we can get some games put together. Is that the key to the success moving forward being able to be consistent and do it week in and week out? Be consistent is the key. Uh, we got to be able to do it week in, week out, but consistency is going to be a uh, uh, main focus point. Mike any tougher after a big win, Delaney, than he is after a, uh, you know, a close win or a loss? Uh, I feel like he's always the same. You really don't get uh, up or down with him. 
Uh, we won the game, okay, yeah, that's how he is, you know, next game, let's see what you do this game. And uh, I like that, you know what I mean? The coach don't have a high or a low, he's always the same, and he's ready to always go and uh, play the next team, so I'm excited about that. How you surprised that your comments after the game kind of caught some wildfire like they did? Uh, uh, I'm sure um, a lot of the Browns fans probably thought I was taking shots at the Browns, but I really wasn't. I was taking shots at the uh, analysts that had the Browns going to the Super Bowl or had them being the top team. And uh, that's one thing, you know, they need to know. I feel like the Browns have a really good team and they will be successful. Um, so them shots was really going towards uh, the analysts that already have raked them to be Super Bowl champs. Sorry if you answered it. On the consistency theme, last year you followed up some big wins with, with some dogs. you think this team's graduated beyond that now? Uh, we'll see. You know, that's the thing. This is the for week two is the challenge. We will see. Um, I feel like we have a really good team. I feel like we got some really good guys here that understand how, how big this game is, but we will see. How come people were so excited and jumping around when Arthur got the game ball? Uh, you know, we all we all trust in Arthur. We we love Arthur, including myself. I, I, me and him are very close, as y'all know. Um, it's just good to see that his first year and what he did in his first um, season open game uh, put up them points and, and moved the offense and, and did a great job at doing it. So a lot of people were uh, excited. Yeah, like a chest bump. Yeah, like a chest bump was Derek on the sideline and seemed like he was he got he get pretty worked up. <laughs> he get pretty worked up, and uh, that's art. You know, that's always been art. He played the game. So he still has it in him, you know, and you've seen it on the sideline. Vrabel joked with him too about drawing up touchdowns for receivers. Yeah. Not just tight end. <laughs> That's hey, I mean, you know, we gotta do what we gotta do. Uh, he, I mean, everyone got an opportunity to score. It's just at that time it was, it was my, uh, it was my time, you know what I mean? And uh, but I, I'm sure we will see a lot of other guys touching the ball, getting in that pay dirt.